Now we're going to begin to describe the seal Nielsen staining process the way we were instructed in our city's main local diagnosing laboratory by its experts, which are in charge of verifying other laboratories' results, making bacteria cultures and antibiograms for further diagnosis of the disease. First, after sterilizing the slide with the spirit lamp, we must extract the most useful parts of the sputum, which are the most purulent or bloody and purulent section. This is the most important part of the process. In case of not making a thin, uniform smear, we might not obtain bacilli to stain, which could lead to a false negative diagnostic. Now, for the staining process, the reagents are carbyl fuchsin, acid alcohol, and methylene blue. First, we have to flood the entire slide with a carbyl fuchsin solution. In order to open the pores and penetrate the bacterial wall, we must apply heat to the slide with gentle waving from below with the spirit lamp. Until white fumes arise from the fuchsin, being careful not letting the solution boil or dry. We must obtain the fumes three times, then let the slide cool down and pour off the fuchsin. For decolorizing the smear, we will use the acid alcohol solution. Since this is an acid fast bacteria, it will not be affected by this substance, but everything around it will. Once we pour the acid alcohol solution, we we'll let it settle for one minute. After this, we'll pour it off with a low pressure stream of common water and now the slide should look slightly pink. And now we'll cover the slide's surface with methylene blue and allow it to stain for one and a half minutes. Then we'll wash it as well and set the slide to dry. <laughs> 